The area when you fire in the parabrachial nucleus, there are neurons that cause the rotation of the head to the right or the left. You don't have to think about firing each muscle individually, they fire as a group. There are muscles that cause in animals, the, we fire in the raising of the head and the body, like extension. So there are actually muscles for flexion and extension. And also then there's the flight or, free reaction, flight or flee reaction, which is flexion. Then also the turning of the entire body, which is actually kind of like, you know, kind of a like gait pattern, sort of. So these pre-programmed areas of movement in the mesencephalon, um, when you fire those neurons, they then diverge out neurologically to a whole bunch of, of, of uh, muscles that make the action happen all at once. So you don't have to think about or fire every muscle with each individual neuron. They fire these neurons for the movement, and the mesencephalon pattern generators take care of the rest. So we have, we have these uh, concepts of centering the spine. The original center of the spine patterns were flexion, extension, lateral flexion, and rotation or gait. Any vertebra can move in those three planes, flexion, extension, lateral flexion, and rotation, which is related to gait. I know vertebra can sometimes move in translation, but we leave this out of this discussion. So the patterns here are generated by pattern generators in the midbrain, mesencephalon, and they should all be in synchrony if they're coming from a central pattern. But sometimes things get in the way of the body being in harmony or in synchrony for these different movements. Mesencephalon reticular formation creates bilateral pra uh, problems. It creates bilateral patterns, so you see bilateral shoulder problems, bilateral arm problems, bilateral hand problems, or bilateral hips or knees or ankles or feet. When they're bilateral, the first thing I think of is, is this coming from the mesencephalon pattern generators? Doesn't have to be. It could be a unique bilateral problem. It could be a problem like a like a subluxation in the spine that's causing bilateral activity, but a lot of times when there are bilateral symptoms, the problem is arising in the mesencephalon. So we check for things like injuries, visceral problems, including endocrine, like we talked about in Brain on Fire 1, and then immune problems. These are all things that can affect the mesencephalon, and these are really from Brain on Fire 1.